Tonight from Spokane's federal courthouse. She said it was self-defense that she killed the man who she claims raped her the day before. But tonight that woman is heading to prison. Madison George's case became a rallying cry for those who believed she wasn't giving ju given justice because she's an indigenous woman who killed a white man. But today, a judge sentenced her to six and a half years in prison. George pleaded guilty to killing Christopher Buddy Graber. She also admitted stealing his drugs and gun the day before. George claims she was afraid for her life because Graber sexually assaulted her, but that wasn't reported to police until after Graber was dead. Rania Gore was in court today as George's family and attorney pleaded for a lighter sentence. Rania. Nia, Aaron, the minimum George could have gotten today was five years, the maximum 17. Of course, with those six and a half years, her family is relieved and the, uh, and the defense side Graber's family a little upset, but overall happy that his family is at peace. The judge took into consideration three congressional acts when making this ruling, the Power Act of 2018, the Savannah Act, and the Non-Invisible Act, all relating to the injustices of Native American women who have faced domestic violence. Her mother, although not discounting her daughter killed someone, says everyone lost something today. I don't think that any of us really won here, you know, like I... I've lost Maddie for these last almost two years and I'm going to lose, you know, she's going to be gone for another six years, five years and, you know, so, and Maddie will never be the same person that she's been through too much and then, you know, buddy, he's gone, he's dead. A huge part. A huge part of this case has been debating whether or not Madison was raped. While well, the judge said she didn't have enough ed evidence to rule whether a so, legal yeah, rape we, happened uh, or not, she does believe the sexual assault happened. That was taken into consideration, and they do have time to repeal the sentence. Live in Spokane tonight, I'm Rania Kaur, 4 News Now.